What's happening folks, welcome to another street photography POV video shooting with the X100V and today I've got the Lensmate Thumbrest on there and also the Artisan Obscura soft release shutter button. This is my first time really putting them through their paces shooting street photography in Denver. I started recording a little bit after I got a photo that I liked which is a shame but this was the first almost shot that I got that I liked. It was really blurry, nothing's really in focus, I'm not sure if it's motion blur or just out of focus. This guy with a red bag and a red shirt and red glasses rollerblading towards us and there's a lady in the background with red pants on as well. Technically awful photo but I uh, just I like the colours in this one. And I'm shooting here with Jack who I recently met while out shooting street photography in Denver. Even as I'm recording this, I just saw a kid skateboard past my house dancing with a flowery shirt on, so I'm really sad I was not outside to catch that. Wasn't a lot happening in Denver today, it was just a lot of people just milling around, so there, unfortunately there wasn't a ton of interesting stuff to shoot. Made an attempt at a shot of this guy here, it just, it, it was nothing, it, didn't, it wasn't even worth showing, it was so bad. And this one here was also really bad. I don't know why I didn't just walk closer to the lady, but um, this, this is what I did instead. Not good. So moving on. This here was a missed shot for sure. This woman was fixing this guy's mask and it would have been just an interesting gesture, but I was busy kind of messing with my phone at the time. So that was, that was dumb. I was really struggling today and I actually got to the point early on where I just hadn't been really taking photos so I decided I just need to start shooting and trying things out so I just did a reflection shot here, didn't work out well at all but um, would have been fine if there was interesting things happening. I'd noticed this guy sleeping here a couple times and he kept waking up when I went to him the first time and this time he did not wake up, I still was absolutely panicked walking up there in case he like caught me um, but it, it was it's fine if nothing else it's just a kind of strange and interesting thing of the, one of the few interesting things that was in the streets today this woman on her bike with her jacket that matched the colors of her bike from New Jersey as well she rode a long way And I tried to frame her with these people walking through. It's it's not it's not great, but you know I'm just shooting, trying to get into the sort of flow of things. And we're running after these two girls with these um, interesting kind of hats on, but they ended up in the shade. So we followed them for a minute. Thought they were gonna step back into the sun further down the street, but they never did. And this was the most interesting shot that I got. But they never did, and this was the most interesting shot that I got of them. We're about to cross the road, and I just caught eyes with this bus driver and took a quick shot. He gave the peace sign just after he moved off, but I missed that one. We were following this woman up ahead of us with this pink hat on that Jack had spotted. And in the end I took a picture just for the sake of it when we were passing, but did not get anything that, that I thought was good. I've been enjoying shooting with other people in Denver. I find that I'm a little more brave when I'm shooting with someone else. It seems I don't I don't know why. It just it just maybe the moral support or something makes me slightly braver to shoot pictures. But one of the downsides is that we often see the exact same thing so you end up with almost the same exact pictures and that sometimes so i guess that's just one of the trade-offs that you have to deal with if you have even a remotely similar style to the people that you shoot with jack showed me this spot in this like underground tunnel sort of bus station place really looks just like an airport to me to be honest but a little further through this tunnel there's a spot where there's nice skylights and light that comes down through and i fall back on a the basic photos where you get light in the background, someone in the foreground in the shadow and you can make a nice silhouette and the yellow wall kind of adds a little pop of colour and makes it interesting. But you know these kind of shots I find are not difficult to make and 
they just are good to to just shoot and make you feel like you got something that was usable from that day. Now anyway, it looks nice, but it's not anything groundbreaking at all. I saw these like bag things that were stuck on that barbed wire and it was blown in the wind along with the leaves. So I, I tried to make a shot there, but it didn't, didn't really turn out interesting. So moving on. There's a spot at the river in Denver that always has a lot of things going on, a lot of action happening, and we're headed down that way and saw these two ladies who had just perched to look over at the view. Didn't make anything good of it, it's just kind of a nice view to be honest. And then this pigeon, I'm trying to sneak up on this pigeon on, on a railing under the bridge. Made a silhouette of it, again, really easy thing to do. and. Um, a nice easy way to get a sort of aesthetically pleasing photo is making silhouettes. I didn't get him in flight, I missed it, just I like pressed it in between when he flew and when he was already gone. I didn't get him in flight, he flew away right after I took that shot though. As we walked up here, we happened on this group of skateboarders, they seemed to be filming like a skate video so I was a little reluctant to get any closer because I didn't, I mean, I probably wouldn't have ruined their shot, I don't know if they would have cared, but I, did, I just wanted to be a bit polite anyways. I like this one because if you look closely at it, there's just all these little groups of people in the background and everybody's kind of separated with a little bit of space, so it almost makes order out of the chaos that's in there. I caught this guy mid-air and it almost looks like he's about to land on that person that's like sleeping on the floor and that's that's the only reason I included that one in there. I, I, again, we've got all the separation of different people and then one with them further over which fills up the frame a little bit better. These aren't great shots by any means, I think I really would have liked to have been closer to them but it was kind of interesting. I'm going to go back here, hopefully we'll catch skateboarders in that same spot. And then right after that I realised that I had run out of time on my parking meter so we're rushing back up to the other end of 16th street to try and get it before I get a ticket. Realised today that this bus was free and I had no idea of all the other times I've been to Denver so this is kind of cool because now I know that I can ride the bus for free and I, can, I like to take pictures from inside of things so I get extra layers and frames and all that sort of stuff to play with so so this is, this is good, good to know for the future. So obviously on my way up, I shot a whole bunch of pictures trying to frame people outside of the bus. This one was okay. I like the 16 shadow on the window there. Spotted a guy making a film or video of something. And this lady walking across the road with her daughter. Again, the picture itself I don't know that I like, but I do like that you can see the, the lettering on the window in the foreground. I feel like it just gives an extra layer. This one, that girl happened to look round right as we drove past. So I don't know if she was looking in the window, but it looks like she was. Fully just trying things out here. I don't know that I like or love any of these pictures but it's just good practice trying to work on your timing as people are sort of passing through or coming in like this lady is. But again no interest in gestures or anything like that. I kind of miss this guy coming in. I wish I'd had the camera a little bit further over but he was wearing an interesting hat and he had the cross that was like swinging around his neck so it was kind of a there was some sort of gesture happening there with that cross. At this point we're walking back down 16th again. There was like a beam of light coming between the buildings and a skateboarder on the other side. I like this scene just for the way the light is. Um, the guy, it's kind of a cliche shot with a guy in the middle, but um, yeah, it's otherwise it's just just a nice nice tones in there I guess, nice warm tones. These two people, this woman was wearing an interesting hat and like stripes on her shirt. 
I tried, I mean, I, they were not even looking at us and nothing interesting was happening, but I tried it and failed, so whatever. Right here I saw a piñata in the window, which just really stood out because it was a very, like, boring office sort of scene. So I tried to make a sort of reflection picture of it. There was a guy walking up the street, messing around here a little bit. Again, it didn't turn out great, but it was just weird to see a piñata in the window. Walking back through this bus station again, this time overground instead of underground, and this is definitely not a street shot, more of just an arch architecture shot. As we're walking through here, I see this sort of like kitchen in, in behind these windows. I think there's too much light outside. If it was darker, I'd be able to see through. Missed a shot here, or I was too late. That guy was doing like a gesture with his hand with a glove on, and uh, I was, I was, we were too late for that. Right here, I'm trying to shoot through the window and frame frame Jack as he looked through that other window. I'd, we d I did not ask him to do that, he was just trying to see through. It's, it's a little bit too, again, it's too bright outside and too dark inside. Today's street photography was one of those rough days where you don't really get anything that you're super proud of, you don't get any bangers, but you just sort of like work through some stuff that you saw, you try things out, and experiment and just like shoot whatever you see and if you get a good shot you get a good shot but most of the time you don't but this is all part of the process some days you're gonna eat it and just have to deal with it and when you go back out the next time you're a little bit better prepared for things that you might see and hopefully then you'll get something good so folks if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already Drop me a comment down below, let me know what you thought. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.